Hey, what's up, Pokemon fans? This is me, Majestic Melodic, here bringing you the all important news and updates about the Pokemon world. And this year marks a very important anniversary. The 20th anniversary of the Pokemon series is February 26th of this year. And Pokemon just recently announced we're going to be celebrating it in a big way. Starting with some events that might be of interest to you guys. They have announced that they are going to be doing monthly mythical Pokemon distributions. Starting February 24th with a level 100 new zero code event at GameStop. Starting from February 1st, ending February 24th. This is for X, Y, um, and Oris. Followed in March with a Celebi event, level 100 also, knowing the moves Confusion, Recover, Heal Bell, Safeguard. That starts March 1st, all the way to the 24th, which is my birthday by the way. Next in April we have Jirachi level 100, Wish, Confusion, and Rest. August, April 1st to April 24th. The Celebi is Wi-Fi event, Jirachi is Wi-Fi. Next up is Darkrai for May. First to the 24th, you get Enigma Berry, Dark Void, Ominous Wind, Nightmare, Faint Attack. GameStop Serial Code event. Don't miss it. Then we have Manaphy. A Pokemon that I'm not sure if you were able to get. Except for one way. I think it was a Pokemon Ranger thing. This comes at level 100, comes with a King's Rock, and the moves Tail Glow, Bubble, and Water Sport. That is a Wi Fi event. Also over Wi-Fi in July, Manaphy is June. In July, you'll be able to get a Shaman, who is holding a Nickelberry over Wi-Fi. It was to move Seed Flare, Aromatherapy, Substitute, and Energy Ball. Also in Oris, and all of these events are XY and the Auris compatible. And as for Shaman, if you bring a Shaman to the uh, Fire Master's house, there will be a guy who will give you the Gracidia flower, allowing you to turn Shaman into Shaman Sky Form for the day until 8 p.m. Next up for August, we have 
GameStop serial code event of God of Pokemon himself, Arceus. It moves Judgment, Recover, Hyper Beam, and Perish Zone. This is a GameStop serial code event. So don't miss out on that. Followed by, in September, a Vakini event. If incinerate, quick attack, endure, and confusion. That's over Wi-Fi. Also over Wi-Fi, you have we have Keldia of 100 with Aqua Jet, Double Kick, and Bubble Beam. In order to transform it into its resolute form. And X and Y, you take it to one of the houses in the town where the uh, Friend Safari is. And Oris. Huh. Oris, I don't exactly remember. Because mine was already in resolute form. Next, we have Genesect with a serial code event at GameStop. Level 100 comes with Techno Blast, Magnet Bomb, Solar Beam, and Single Beam. And next, and why you get the plates from a little dr disk drive for him from a hiker at the Fossil Restore place. And ending off the year event wise, we have Meloetta of 100 holding a PP Max. Which moves Quick Attack round and confusion. That event runs from December 1st to Christmas Eve. But that's enough about events for now. Let's see what else we have in store for this year. Also announced the We bundle new Nintendo 3DS bundle will come with a ever Charizard or Blast to Toys Oh, strike that. Charizard and Blast Toys face cover for your new Nintendo 3DS. Along with a pre installed versions of the virtual console versions of red and blue. As well as an exclusive Pokemon Nintendo 3DS theme, it is not currently known what this theme will be or include. Also, for those of you who might be a little strapped on money and might and not a big fan of the 3D part, the 2DS is also having a bundle featuring yellow, red, and blue with some specially colored 2DS is in honor of the 20th anniversary based off of which game bundle you get. It also comes with a already pre-installed version.
of whatever game is in there is featured on the box. It also comes with a code for the special console theme that was talked about in the bundle above. After that, there's just some more skins for the 3D, new 3DS in Europe. And for those of you who are into the special battles on the battle spot, the uh, newest season's come to a start January 19th till March 15th. And we'll run on both X, Y, and Oris. And it will be following VGC 2016 rule set. And those rules apply by... It will be Double Battles, Pokemon Restrictions, National Pokedex, Pokemon Limits. Team may have no more than two of the following Pokemon. Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Restoram, Zekrom, Kiram, Xerneas, Evital, and Zygarde. So basically, we're saying you can have two mascot legendaries on your team. Band Pokemon Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, Deoxys, Fione, Manaphy, Darkrai, Shaman, Arceus, Victini, Keldeo, Meloetta, Genesect, Diancy, Hoopa, and Pokemon not catched or hatched in Mega Mate, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Never standard rules apply, including reduced to level 50. If above that, and you choose four out of your six, and you cannot have two Pokemon holding the same item. Other than that, to wrap it up for today, we have a uh, announcement of an Infernape challenge coming to Shuffle. Mobile. And for those of you who took part in the Swamperite competition on Shuffle, the uh, results came out for that. So check your game, see if you got the Swamperite. It has also been confirmed that for the 20th anniversary pre release, that a special app will be released for iPhone and Android devices later this year called. Pokemon Photo Booth. Full details of this app are not currently known, but it's said to help participate in the festivities of the 20th anniversary. We'll bring more as it comes. Last but not least, confirmation of the X, Y, and Z anime coming to the U.S. on Cartoon Network from starting February 20th. As well as various movies are going to be digitally remastered and released on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon across the world, as well as being showcased in various places around Europe. Well, that was a lot of news. And for what it looks like, Game Freak and Nintendo are not holding back on the 20th anniversary. Cannot wait to see what else they bring this year. Other than that, like, subscribe, see you guys next time, and uh, keep your eyes on my channel and Saturday for Core Core News or any other news updates. See you guys later.